Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. 大家好，我是兰迪老师。在五十九课，咱们学习了如何向别人询问是否有一些什么东西，还重点学习了 some 在肯定句 ，any 在否定句当中的表达。今天咱们就来强化这种句式。你会在以下的音频当中呢，听到这样的问句 ：Do you have any 什么什么东西？那你要根据图片实际的情况来回答。Yes, I have 什么什么。No, I don't have any 什么什么。让咱们一同进入今天的实践练习时间，开始本节课的 repetition drill。Ready, go. Lesson sixty, repetition drill. Look at the thirteenth picture. Do you have any butter? I don't have any butter, but I have some cheese. Look at the twentieth picture. Do you and Penny have any beans? We don't have any beans, but we have some potatoes. Look at the thirty-third picture. Do Penny and Tom have any wine? They don't have any wine, but they have some beer. Look at the sixteenth picture. Do you have any honey? I don't have any honey, but I have some jam. Look at the nineteenth picture. Do you and Tom have any bread? We don't have any bread, but we have some biscuits. Look at the twenty-sixth picture. Do Tom and Penny have any grapes? They don't have any grapes, but they have some bananas. Look at the twenty-ninth picture. Do you have any mints? I don't have any mints, but I have some steak. Look at the fifteenth picture. Do the children have any butter? They don't have any butter, but they have some eggs. Look at the twenty-fourth picture. Do you have any lettuces? I don't have any lettuces, but I have some cabbages. Look at the twenty-second picture. Do you and Penny have any beans? We don't have any beans, but we have some peas. Look at the thirteenth picture. Do you have any butter? I don't have any butter, but I have some cheese. Look at the twentieth picture. Do you and Penny have any beans? We don't have any beans, but we have some potatoes. Look at the thirty-third picture. Do Penny and Tom have any wine? They don't have any wine, but they have some beer. Look at the sixteenth picture. Do you have any honey? I don't have any honey, but I have some jam. Look at the nineteenth picture. You and Tom have any bread? We don't have any bread, but we have some biscuits. Look at the twenty-sixth picture. Do Tom and Penny have any grapes? They don't have any grapes, but they have some bananas. 
Look at the twenty-ninth picture. Do you have any mints? I don't have any mints, but I have some steak. Look at the fifteenth picture. Do the children have any butter? They don't have any butter, but they have some eggs. Look at the twenty-fourth picture. Do you have any lettuces? I don't have any lettuces, but I have some cabbages. Look at the twenty-second picture. Do you and Penny have any beans? We don't have any beans, but we have some peas. 首先，在今天的词法环节里面，我们将学到如何描述具体的时间。在句法里面，我们将学会询问 “Do you have any？” 你有什么什么吗？首先进入咱们今天的词法，如何描述一天当中的时间？那第一个要学到的就是整点，它最简单，就是 a clock。比如说五点 ，five o'clock； 六点 ，six o'clock； 七点 ，seven o'clock。那如果不是整点的话呢？我们有两种方法。第一种呢是顺着读，先说小时，再说分钟。比如说，三点十五 ，three fifteen。那七点二十呢 ？seven twenty。这个很简单吧？只要认识数字就可以了。第二种情况，我们要倒着读，就是先说分钟，再说小时。那这样的表述，咱们也分两种情况啊。好了，第一种。叫分钟小于半小时，咱们需要借用一个介词 past。比如大家来看这幅图片，这是几点钟啊？两点二十二，对吧？还不到两点半。那咱们就先说分钟，再说小时哈。Twenty two past two。咱们用 past 来表示两点过二十二分啦。好了，这一种叫倒着读。咱们第一种倒着读呢，是小于半小时。那大于半小时怎么表达？咱们来看第二幅图，这个是几点钟？一点五十二，还没到两点，但是快了，对吗？也就是说，差八分钟两点了。那咱们用一个介词 to 来表达 ，eight to two， 这个就表示两点差八分。那最后呢 ，Lenny 老师再给大家补充两个单词，第一个词叫 quarter。是四分之一的意思，这四分之一通常用于一个小时里面的四分之一就是十五分钟，一年的四分之一就是一个季度，对吧 ？A quarter 就等于十五分钟。那么，请看这个时间，九点四十五，九点四十五，我们哎判断一下，哦，时间大于半小时了，应该用 two， 也就是说十点差十五分要用 two，a quarter to ten。那么再看一个单词叫 half，half half 表示半小时。我们刚才呢倒着说有两种情况，小于三十分钟和大于三十分钟。正好是几点半的时候呢，我们就用 past。比如说九点半 ，half past nine， 非常棒。我们来到了今天的句法环节，怎么问？你有一些什么呢？记住这个句子就好了。Do you have any？ 这个 any 就用在疑问句里的，比如说。Do you have any books? 你有点书吗？如果有的话呢，你就说 ，Yes, I have some books. 你回答的时候用 some， 人家提问的时候用 any。那 Do you have any water? 这个是不可数名词。那如果你没有水的话，你说 No, I don't have any water. 你看，否定句里面还是用 any， 疑问句里用 any， 只有肯定句里面用 some。以上啊，就是今天本节课的全部内容了。那莱尼老师带着你快速复习一下。首先，在词法方面，我们学习了如何具体的描述时间。第一个时间是整点 ，a clock， 三点，三点整 ，three o'clock。那么，如果时间不是整点的话，我们有两种方式。第一种方式是顺着读，先说小时，再说分钟，这个很简单，直接读数字。还有一种方法。倒着读，倒着读有两种情况。
第一种呢，分钟小于半小时，用 past。Past 是指过的意思，几点过几分。那第二种呢？分钟大于半小时，就用 to 这个介词，叫几点差几分。差就是 to， 过就是 past。我们还学到了两个表示时间的单词 ：a quarter 十五分钟 ，half 三十分钟。在句法里面，我们还学到了如何询问别人：“你有啥吗？”你只要记得这个句子里面 ，Do you have？ 疑问句里用 any， 否定句里用 any。只有肯定回答的时候叫 Yes I have， blah blah blah。如果你能够把 Lenny 老师小结的内容全部回忆出来，你就圆满完成了今天的任务了。以上就是本节课的全部知识点了。现在是时候测试一下咱们的收获喽。以考代练，咱们最终是要实现提升能力。顺便考试，我给你准备了五道选择题，你可以暂停一下视频，看看自己能否全部做对。咱们来看第一题 ，Number One，A 说 ，Do you want？ 问号 ，B 答 ，No，That's all。这个 That's all， 就这些。那别人问你还要别的吗？我们看选项里面，问别的，一个叫 What else？ 一个叫 Is that all？ 我们看看选项里面哪个是 D 选项，直接出答案。Number two， 第二题。I don't have 空格 glue。这个地方说否定句里面肯定是 any glue， but I have 肯定句里用 some。咱们看一下选项 B， 完全正确。Number three， we 空格 two years， but the monster 空格 four years。我们长了两个耳朵，怪兽长了四个耳朵。我们我们有有 ，we have。那怪兽呢？有，它是第三人称单数啊。have 的三单形式就是 has， 所以选项 C 正确。Number four，A 说 ，Do you have any sisters？ 他问你有姐妹吗 ？B 回答，或者是有，或者是没有。那两种回答，首先是有的话 ，Yes I do。没有 ，No, I don't. 因为你不可以说 Yes, I have. Do 是助动词来提问，你就要用助动词来回答。Yes, I do. No, I don't. 选项里面只有 D 是正确的。Number five， 最后一题了。Does she want the large size, the small size? 大的、小的，肯定是二选一吧。选择疑问句用 or。A 选项正确。我是兰迪老师，我们下节课再见吧。See you next time. Bye for now.